That play Rust. Fat guy, what are you thinking? I'm thinking this is going to be a great fight. Obviously, Zuckles is fighting the mystery opponent tonight. Very excited to see who that is. And Zuckles, he looks ready to go. He's all masked up. He's got tons of energy. He's got the six shoes. This is going to be great. This Zuckles has that crazy factor. That's the thing about Zuckles. Exactly. He's, Absolutely. You just don't know what you're going to get with him. Mm -hmm. I believe the uh, mystery opponent will be revealed shortly. Oh, they're going to make us wait, huh? Okay. Oh, the tension is high here. Who mm. could it be? Who could it be? A lot of speculation on Twitter. A lot of different faces have popped up. Um, but I know whoever it is, I heard he's been training a lot. I heard a lot of improvement has been made. And I heard that he's really looking to make a change in the ring today. I, well, I, I kind of know who it is. And what we're going to see is we're going to see a complete body transformation. Oh, Wow. I think I know who it is. The Misfit fans absolutely will recognize this face. Alex Wasabi put on weight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks like there's a big hold up here. Uh, maybe the mystery is. Oh, OK. So we just got word that there is an issue with the gloves. So they're right. fixing the gloves, fixing the tape. Now, does this work against Zuckles? Does he get iced in this situation? I don't know. I think he's just hyping himself up right now. You see him. He, look at that energy. I mean, he's full of adrenaline. He's ready to go. He's been and here now, for days thinking about this for weeks. And here we go. Here we go. It's him! There we go. <laughs> ah! Halal Ham is Halal in the Ham. building. Now, how is he going to make this weight? That's the question. Ham's a big boy. He's always been a big boy. He's a big boy. He's been losing weight. Oh, my. Has he slimmed down? Unbelievable. Absolute transformation. Wow. Almost unrecognizable. He was on the Swarms diet. You know, you remember that first fight where Ham fought Salt Poppy? Yes. And how big those boys were? Yeah, Both they, of oh my them, gosh. like a year later, have lost so much weight. He looks ready for business here. All seriousness. Zuckles may have a problem in the ring. And the stare down as soon as he Yo. enters the ring. Ham looks more focused than ever before. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for three free minute rounds in the light heavyweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the Professional Boxing Association. The timekeeper at the belt, Peter McCann, and the third man in the ring in charge of the action, referee Seamus Dunn, and the three judges scoring ringside, Jack Goodwin, Ian John Lewis, and Gareth Morris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, his official weight of 170.85 pounds. And tonight, he is making his crossover boxing debut, flying from Australia, fighting from the town down under. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you, Zaka! Quite a bit of noise as this place is just starting to fill up. Well, oh my God. Look how much weight he lost. Wow, that's insane. And the thing is, he could still lose some more, too. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to give him respect. Absolutely. Beating cancer, getting, getting into the ring. He's definitely someone who can motivate and inspire the kids. 
guys, from someone who's very close, he is radiating energy right now. Like, just look at him. He, I've never seen him so serious in his entire life. This is insane. And he needs this. He needs yeah. a good fight after that Ginty fight. You yes. know, it was kind of unimpressive. I was a little harsh, but fair yeah. at the same time. Zuckles looks pretty relaxed, though. I'm pretty impressed. Is, this is Zuckles' first fight. He's going against someone that has all this experience. It's going to be interesting to see what takes place. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Here we go. That referee looks intense. He's on it. And we are off. The first round starts immediately. Ooh. Ham aggressive. Jumping jabs. Whoa. Very hard. Zuckles playing defense, trying to get out of there. Oh, and it's a war. Zuckles got to get right up gloves the gloves up. Hand kind of pawing at him. Wild right hand. Zuckles staying tall. And Ham, this is Ham using the gib crouching tiger technique a little bit. I was going to say, very similar, very similar technique. It, it better not end up like the Jake Paul <laughs> match. <laughs> Definitely Zuckles Ham on the offensive here. Zuckles trying to figure him out, find out what's going on, and hopefully trying to counter all this aggression that's coming from Ham. And Some Zuckle surprisingly looks calm, right? Yeah. He looks calm, but he's calmly leaving his chin pretty high as well. Yes. But listen, you might be able to get away with it. Oh, big oh. hit. Ooh. And I think what we're seeing right here is experience, you mm -hmm. know? And he gets caught again. Now, obviously, like we said, this is Zuckle's first fight. So, you know, he's definitely getting a feel for the ring, a feel for what it's like, the energy. And, um, oh, big swing there, just missed. Zuckles is just looking for that moment, but yeah. every time he goes for it, he gets caught. Mm. Uh, oh. You've got to give him credit. They are throwing, they're going for it. Ham knows. He's not making the same mistake as last time and being too hesitant. Uh, tap of the gloves there. We're seeing some sportsmanship, which is great. Yeah. Just, so Ooh. Zuckles is, is, you know, he's going so slow. He's giving oh, that big way hit out. by him, and he's going against the. All right. One of those overhands. It's a matter of time if yeah. Zuckles just leaves his chin up there like that. And there it is again. It really seems like Ham's taking control here, Zuck. and he's kind of Zuckles kind of following whatever he wants. Um, Zuckles is a little hesitant, playing a little too much defense. He's got to let those hands go. Oh, big go. hits by Ham and up against the corner. They're gonna break that up. That's like the first clinch up we've seen mm -hmm. in this. I mean, it's been nonstop action. These are 12 ounce gloves, by the way. Big hit. Oh. oh, nice one too by him, putting on some pressure. He's swinging really high, trying to get that head. Obviously, there's a, a bit of a height disadvantage there um, from Zuckles. And I see Zuckles breathing heavy, mm. um, which is shocking to me. If anyone was going to get gassed, I would assume it would have been Ham. Yeah. Well, I, I think the adrenaline dump factor, being first time he's in there, the experience of it, it's, it's going to be a factor. And Zuckles really just needs to throw some more. Well, he's got to save some. There's right. two more no rounds of this. I think Zuckles needs to get some confidence back. Um, you know, Ham definitely felt like he was in control of the ring in that first round. Um, but obviously, you know, he's just getting started here. Well, what do you think? Obviously, Ham won that first round, right? Definitely, absolutely. But. Yeah, 10-9 round for him. Throwing some wild punches, hoping they'd connect. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got a couple of them off, but nothing super clean at the same time. Yeah, so. right. Experience plays a, a, a huge part in this. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. You can tell that Zuckles is still trying to figure out what to do um, in the ring there, and Ham is definitely taking more of control over. Um, but hopefully in this next coming around, Zuckles will start putting on more pressure and um, now, getting more in his face. Zuckles' coach uh, is his father. He's giving a little advice in the corner. So we're going to see if he keeps that chin open or not. Top of the gloves to start the second round here. Oh, big hit by Ham. Right off the bat, Ham gets inside. Oh, oh, Ham has got him against the ropes, putting on tons of pressure here. 
Hello, Ham with a focus. Ooh. Once again, one, two. He seems like he's doing the same move, and it's just working over and over again while Zuckles is just trying to get himself into the center of the ring and, you know, take control back over here. Zuckle was able to get one in that last clash up. Still nothing super clean. Right. So we'll see what's going to happen here, but some interesting footwork there. <laughs> Zuckles really has to... Oh, oh, once again, seems from here like a lot of damage is being done. Ham, those punches are hitting hard. That, I can see everyone. Well, that, he, that he's combo. throwing hard. Zuckles needs to yeah. keep his distance. He's got the range. He's got the, the reach, and he needs to keep Ham on the outside. Ham is going on the inside, coming in with that oh, overhand. Oh, once again. It's a matter so of much time. I think we, we hear Addy. <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure if that's going out to the broadcast yeah. or not. Uh, well. <laughs> but he sees his name. Yes, he sees his name. And Halalham sees his target, but can he actually connect with it? We're seeing a little bit of hugging now. Referee steps in. We need Zuckles to throw. Yep. Yep. Ham. Keep him at bay with that. Oh, the, the problem that Zuckles is dealing with is every time he throws, he gets caught. And now, oh, he's pushing back. There you go. He's, there he's we go. go. And that's what he needs to do. He needs to turn this into a brawl. Absolutely. Right now, he's just on the defense of the whole match. Ham is just playing with him on the ropes. He needs to get back in there and take over the ring and show him. Use those physical advantages. Put some work on Ham and tire him out. Start doing some real damage. Suckles looks pretty gassed right now. And I can guarantee you it's not so much his fitness as it is the adrenaline dump. Yeah. Nice shot there right into the face. When Zuckles throws, he puts everything into those throws. Mm. If he got one off clean, it still could be his game. Absolutely. Nice shot there. Zuckles got one while Ham was rushing. Um, I think he's got to learn to time up because Ham is doing you know, a lot of the same types of punches while he's up against the rings. But if he can start timing those up and getting those shots in, that could be the major difference maker here in this fight. And now Ham's swinging and missing. Zuckles trying to take advantage of it, but they get clinched up again. They're breathing heavy, those deep, deep breaths now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ham looking to put this to an end. That will conclude round two. I don't know, what are you guys thinking so far? Uh, Ham's got it so far. He's got one. Absolutely. He's got two. There are moments where it looks like Zuckles, uh, you know, could pull off a miracle, um, but no really clean shots. Uh, Ringo has quite yeah. some energy, Keen. I really yeah. think the experience <laughs> is playing a major factor here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my girlfriend, the ring girl, Brantley, crushing it out there. How did she? Great job. <laughs> she just screamed at me. She, she nailed that thing. I hope she went through due process to get the job and <laughs> didn't give her any unfair advantages. There was, there was a little bit of an advantage. Suckles in the corner. He's gasping for air. Yeah. Uh, this might be it. I mean, he's got to go for it, throw everything he can at him. Otherwise, he's he's definitely going to lose this fight. He's just got to survive round three. Here we go. You know, three minutes is so long in a fight. Mm -hmm. It's an eternity it's, when you're in there. Absolutely. Yeah. It's like unbelievable, even watching it. And the minute break you have goes as fast as a summer holiday. Right. For these guys, you know, the blessed experience. Ooh. The sweat nice one pouring off ham. Oh! oh. oh. Ham got a great shot to the face there. Zuckles definitely trying to put on some more heat in this last round. Um, but right now, it looks like the experience factor is playing a huge role in um, how this is going. They're exchanging well in the early of the third, um, but Ham just seems like he has better, cleaner shots. Yeah, and, yeah. And Zuckles is gasping for air now, but you've got to give him respect. I mean, he really is... He's, he's holding out, yeah, doing it's, it's his best. His first his fight first ever, fight. he's fighting against someone who's had multiple fights. You know, that's all oh, really hard hit there. That combo that Ham is throwing, it j he just keeps connecting. Mm -hmm. Zuckle's got to get out of that zone and do something different. Ooh. Ham
Ham loves that combo. I've seen him use it so many times. I think Zuckles may be trying to oh, line something up. Oh, he got him up. there. Yeah. yeah. Zuckles is a tough kid. Very tough. He's absorbing some punishment here. Oh, Ooh, Ham. And he gets one in there. Two in a row for Zuckles getting in. Maybe he's figured it out. But unfortunately, I think it might be too late. Oh, Ooh. nice dodge there. Gets out of there. And Suckles is just tired. Yeah. The gas tank is yeah. on E. Both fighters definitely looking like they're tiring down here. Um, but Suckles has to do something drastic right now if he's going to turn this in his favor. Um, Ham with those constant aggressive Ooh. combos. They just don't let up. Zuckles is constantly against the ropes trying to get back into the ring. And even if Ham hasn't connected super clean throughout the fight, the judges are going to be giving it to him because of the Oh, yeah. Oh, strong there punch is. there by oh, Zuckles, yeah. but Ham counters hard. And every time Zuckles gets that moment, he gets oh, oh, he does a spin oh, move on him. Fist. Not sure what that was. I, he thought it was... I think Chase the Moore taught him that move. <laughs> that was a bit of a, a spin jitsu. I don't know what that was, but it was very interesting <laughs> in there. Spinning back fist. That, Referee admonishing Zuckles now. It's just the lack of experience. Yeah, that's going to be a point. That's a point deducted from Zuckles. Hopefully Ham's okay. Looks like he's uh, got something in the back of the head. Did he did he actually connect with Ham or is Ham? I don't. Know, I think his elbow. I think point. his elbow may have hit the back of his head potentially. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'd have to rewatch it. But it definitely looked like he spun and then hit him somehow with the back of his arm. A move of desperation yeah. towards <laughs> the end of this fight. You know, he, he was doing MMA, grew up with MMA a little bit, so maybe out of instinct. Mm. Oh, Ham oh. is angry, yeah. and he wants blood right after that hit. He's right back in there. Zuckles playing defense against the ropes, and Ham is going in. Very locked in, punching oh. hard. Harder, he's angry now. He is angry. He is not going to let that one slide. He's in there. And Zuckles says, bring it. Ten seconds left. Zuckles. Ooh. There we go. Strong punch by Zuckles, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Respect. Great, great you fight go. by both Chef. fighters. Um, obviously, respect to Zuckles. First time getting in the ring against Sir, an experienced fighter. And, and surviving all three rounds. Yeah, 100%. Know? He took a lot of big punches there. He absorbed a lot. Um, awesome I way to start it off here. I didn't think that he would make it uh, all three rounds after the first one, seeing how tired he, he was. Yeah. And I think Mams makes a great point with the adrenaline dump and how that can just drain you instantly. Definitely, definitely. He's got heart. He's got heart, and he lasted. You see his, uh, his girlfriend there, the ring girl, um, giving him some, uh, some support. Ah. Uh. Ham finally show, putting on a show here, getting some action. He went for it. I mean, he was letting his hands go. He was trying. He wasn't hitting the target as much as he would like, but consistently overhands, set up with a left overhand right, and he got it. He got all the. He got it. He did enough to win for sure. That's three rounds to zero. Right. Definitely. Plus a point deducted. I mean. If the judge, imagine the judges gave it to Suckles. <laughs> I don't see a, I don't see a reality where that's possible. I think oh, that was a definitely a more Twitter, one fight. Twitter would lose their mind. Yeah. But uh, thank you to everybody tuning, uh, tuning into the stream now. <laughs> They're eating food. <laughs> Look at this sportsman. What is, what is that? Is that a burger? <laughs> the ring girl said no. <laughs> oh, he's sharing his sandwich. That's a great way to celebrate. Got to share your sandwich in the ring. Be rude if you don't. It's the right etiquette. That's how you show your dominance after a, uh, a good performance. Yeah, yeah. Like, like the male lion gets the kill, he shares exactly. it with the rest <laughs> of the pride. Yep. And we're about to get the official word. The first match of the Happy Punch prelims tonight. Well, Ham has earned that fast food 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see, um, looks like great sportsmanship from both of them. No bad blood. Um, we're both happy to get in there. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> we're like, hey, put that food away. <laughs> You're not getting this W unless you set that down, buddy. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. 
Judge Jack Goodwin, Ian John Lewis, and Gareth Morris all scored the bout 30 to 23. And your winner by unanimous decision, Boss Man from the Corner Show! Well, the judges seen what we've seen. What great sportsmanship. What a great first fight to open the night. And we got many more big fights coming. There's so somebody excited. out there on Twitter claiming that this is a robbery. <laughs> I don't know about that. That'd be a hard claim. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait for this next match. I mean, this was crazy. Uh, we got uh, Poppy Luisto or uh, Lewis Nestor coming up to face Callum King. Yes, and Lewis Nestor has some experience. He's done some MMAs, had an MMA fight. He was in the Navy, I believe, right? Yeah. He was a Navy SEAL. Well, he, he has had multiple fight camps, and his opponents have been pulling out for like two years. I mean, yes. you know, me and you have been trying to get him a fight, and finally this opportunity comes. Two people pulled out of this fight that's happening tonight, and we actually had the brother of Archie, a Fortnite streamer, come in, take the fight, and then he had to pull out, so now his brother, <laughs> Callum King is yeah. coming in. And if you were there at those uh, press conferences, um, Archie's brother, Callum, you should have seen the energy he had when he entered that room. He wanted all the smoke. He came in there, ripped his shirt off, started banging the table, started beefing with Lewis. I mean, guys, I don't know if this is going to be a better fight than we could have seen with Archie. I mean, this is going to be great. I'm very excited for this, this one. This is a heavyweight oh, yeah. fight, and then we have a super heavyweight later. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's heavy, heavy, double heavyweight. super heavyweight. I just hope the ring holds it up. Otherwise... We're all going to have to, I don't know where we're going to see the rest of the fights. But here's a fun fact. Luis Nesta was going to fight um, Josh Brockner. And that fight last minute got pulled, which is why Salt Puppy and Brockner happened. So imagine, look how life works. I know. If if that fight would have happened, the Salt Puppy brockner fight probably wouldn't have happened. Butterfly effect in all these scenarios. It's crazy how it all comes down. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for our next bout of the evening. Schedule three two-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. And now, making his way to the ring, Callum Wobble! But she's pretty confident going into this fight. Yeah. For his opponent making his way to the ring, Poppy Lewis There he is, finally. We've been waiting a long time to get into this ring and it is finally happening here yes. today. And I love the song choice, Scarface. <laughs> oh, he is so ready. This is You gonna have be no idea. Everyone that's backed out, every fight that got canceled, it's been building up for years. And he's gonna take it out tonight on someone much bigger than him. Two minute rounds in the heavyweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the Professional Boxing Association. Timekeeper at the bell, Peter McCann. And the third man in the ring in charge of the action, referee Jack Goodwin. And the three judges scoring ringside, Seamus Dunn, Ian John Lewis, and Gareth Morris. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks, his official weight of 213.4 pounds, and tonight he's making his crossover debut, hailing from Seven Oaks, Kent, England, United Kingdom, Callum Waller! Across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the red, white, and blue. His official weight of 199.3 pounds. And tonight, he's making his crossover boxing debut. Hailing from Tampa, Florida, USA, Poppy Luis Well, 
there it is. All right, look at Luis Nesta. He is intense, man. And is it his baby brother or his big brother? Big this brother. is his big brother. His big, big brother's in there too. I mean, listen, this is going to be a war. I could feel the intensity. You could cut it like a knife. I know. So Callum King and his brother Archie, they grew up with boxing. Their dad does some boxing, right? Mm. But Luis has more experience. Yes, he does. Eager to get in there, like a tiger about to be uncaged. <laughs> Here we go, folks. The second fight of the prelims. And calm looks calm. Nesta measuring him. He's just waiting for that opportunity. Yeah, he's just trying to see what he's all about. Callum. A lot of feints. There's a TikTok dance in Ooh. there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, that jab so far is keeping Nestor away. I think they're just trying to figure each other out, but yes, there he is. You can see his anger. A lot of anger there. <laughs> From both sides. Moving around a lot. We need to see some hands go. All right, this is becoming Ham and, <laughs> and Ginty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely both fighters feeling each other out here. Someone um. needs to make a sped up video of that dance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, striking blow by Luis. And he bounced. That one has he got to do it. Thank God the ropes were right there. Bounced yeah. right off him, back into it. Nesta being a southpaw. And Callum's got to really stay on the outside of the foot. There. Nesta waiting for another opportunity to throw a bomb, it seems. Not so much a volume puncher. Uh, these are shorter rounds. These are two-minute rounds. They've got to make the most of it. We should be seeing way more action. I think there's been oh. two punches thrown. <laughs> Connected, anyway. You there know, it is. We got uh, Callum here definitely looking very angry, very aggressive. But, you know, I don't know. He's still trying to figure out. Luis trying to figure out how he's going to put that aggression yeah, into use. I mean, we were all kind of at a loss for words for that. Because <laughs> yeah. what are you going to say? I mean, we're, we're watching TikTok dances happen in there. Yeah. I think the tiger didn't eat his steak. <laughs> Needs some energy in there. Needs to needs to really go for it. Look, sometimes, obviously, you're exposed when you throw. You're much more exposed when you throw, and they're both hesitant to do that. Callum did throw and got caught by Luis Nesta one time. But, Mams, we do have some excitement in the ring now because we have the woman's champ, Astrid Wett, Astrid in there. Astrid Wett, yes. As a ring girl with her championship belt. And she's got some fire about her too. You see the other day at the press conference when uh, uh, Yeah, we need to stop that. Who, who is that girl? We need to stop that fight. I, I think so. I mean, that girl apparently had her lip busted and perhaps even a broken nose. Astrid's been practicing. Unreal. All right, let's hope that they actually... Uh, there seems to be a spill on the floor here in the ring. I think... Somebody have an accident. Yeah, I think some one, sort. Of the, one of the trainers spilt some liquids on the uh, on the ring floor there. I could see some stains on the pants. Uh, it looks blue. That could be prime. Maybe it's just a promo. Maybe one of these <laughs> fighters need to step in the prime, and that's going to give them the power that they need to get this done here. Yes. Everybody, make sure you stay hydrated and drink <laughs> your prime. Well, we've been put on pause here while the spill gets cleaned up, and hopefully there's a spill somewhere in the ring with this bout. Round one, kind of slow. Let's see if things pick up round two. Here we go. Looks more of the same. OK. We nice definitely trying jab. to oh, oh, slip. Nesta did slip. Potentially on the liquid. Yes. And now that's going to that's going to stop things and they're going to dry that again. Oh, maybe not. They're going to try their best to avoid slipping on that spot. Well, I mean, oh, there Nesta we go. Going in. Luis coming in. Oh, oh strong, strong return by Callum. Nice right hand by Callum. 
That might tell. be a strategy. Push him into the wet spot. <laughs> a nice booby <laughs> trap set up by one of the trainers. <laughs> As Lu oh, he, he left Callum, it real fast. Callum has that swaying of his shoulders up and down like 1940s technique, which <laughs> might be quite effective if he, oh, oh Esther goes in. And somehow it's really entertaining, like yeah. how he fights Callum King. He's, like, <laughs> looks like he's about to explode, like a bomb just about to explode I mean, at all times. Faint after faint after faint, but <laughs> you must throw hands to win a fight. See? And now, okay, oh. nice left hook there by Luis Nesta. This Will he follow it up? You know, this has been more competitive than I ever thought oh. it was going to be. And now going in for those body shots, Nestor. There we go. Here we go. He's a little bit of wrestling there. <laughs> Turned into WWE real quick. But hey, we're getting more action. A lot we're more action more than action round action one. Definitely. Yes. And Callum just looks so angry. Callum he looks like he wants to do some severe damage, but he's the faint machine, man. Yeah. He never stops fainting. Yeah. yeah. Like a fainting goat. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, Lewis is looking very composed. Oh. And look at the control of Lewis. Yeah. When that bell rang to pull that back, I mean, he had some good control there. Now, I don't know quite how to score this one, but I'd give them one apiece. I think Callum got the best of this round with a punch or two that connected, and Nesta connected with one punch on the previous <laughs> round. I don't know who's really controlling the pace, I think, though. Yeah. Look, they have to know at this point, neither one of them has won, right? So I think round three, we're going to see fireworks. It's the decider. I hope yeah. so. Yeah, and these guys, they've been waiting, so, like, especially Luis Nestor, waiting all this time to get in the ring. He wants to put on a show. You know, he wants to do something that people are going to remember. This is his last round here, his last chance to do that. I know Callum definitely wants to do something crazier Dude. to put his name out there. So we got to see what they're going to do. Callum is the brother of a YouTuber, a streamer. If he knocks this guy out, like, he's a legend. Overnight. Yeah, that's yes. a crazy story. What a story like. that would be. He's got to go for it now. All right, let's see. And Callum is throwing. <laughs> Connecting? <laughs> Not oh. so much, but he is throwing. And you know, he's. Callum's footwork has potential. Oh, a strong well. jab there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, there's a nice left hand there. Tries to follow it up. Got to keep going. Tell him. Those are, those are not clean, though. They're the top of the head, side yeah. of the head. Very aggressive, but it seems like Luis is starting to tame the bull here and figure out what he's doing. Um, Callum is a throwing machine, though. He's thrown so many more shots. But I feel like Luis's shots have done more damage. I feel like the shots <laughs> oh. that Luis has been throwing have been doing a lot more impact. I agree with that, Pat God. Yeah. Pat God, you are a lot nicer um, in person. Oh, if he's on a Twitter space and he's allowed to just... I mean, <laughs> he's brilliant, though. I've seen you cook some people. And <laughs> yeah, I need to get in the uh, ring one day, I almost, hopefully. You, yeah, you should. Yeah. I, I, I will help. Oh, strong Ooh. shots by Luis. There he goes. Nesta now knows he's he's only got seconds to really try and solidify his first win on Misfit. That's, and happy punch prelims. <laughs> <laughs> and there the we go. Luis now we're seeing some action right there. Mm -hmm. He's talking to the ref about an issue. Mouth guard. Time's ticking down here. Both fighters really have to start doing something, especially Callum. He's going to have to do something big in these last moments if he's going to make a huge change He's got to do it now. He's yep. got to do it absolutely now. And this could be, you know, his last chance oh, on a stage There like it is. Well, that's the end of that. Well, I, I'm going to go I, I'm gonna go with Nestor. Um, I think he had the cleaner shots, the better shots. And remember that first round, that first blow that he hit? That was a big blow when he got him all the way against the ropes. Yep. I think that was the strongest strike I've seen all night. And I think everything I've seen so far is definitely going to go with Nestor. Yeah, I, I give the second round to um, Callum. Third round, close, but I think Nestor perhaps. Two yeah. to one, maybe. Both fighters showing sportsman, uh, sportsmanship there. Yes. That's what you love to see. I mean, it's just unbelievable 
to come with like three days notice and put on a show yeah. like that and do that well, you know? Of course, and it's easy for all of us to make fun at home, but you know what? You have to give them their flowers, short notice, jumped at the opportunity, got in there, took a chance. You know, gave us a new TikTok dance for sure. And, you know, <laughs> I think you've got to give them their respect. But let's see. And you know, tonight, don't forget, later on, the live on the Zone pay-per-view, we have KSI versus Joe Fournier. You should definitely, definitely be tuning into that. Deji is on the card with his big brother again, and he's fighting swarms. I mean, there's so much on this card. There are 10 fights total, counting the prelims and the main card. That's available over on DAZN, so make sure you get over there, get your subscription, and buy that pay-per-view. And the subscription is only 99p today. How much is it? 99p for the for new for a new subscriber. Deal of a lifetime because you're also getting Saul Poppy versus Anthony Taylor. Uh, trust me, I don't like that fight. They're both my fighters. I don't even want to see it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, it's exciting. Uh, yes, I, I've been told. I, a lot of people think there might be an upset or two on the card, and obviously for me, I hope that that upset doesn't involve JJ. He's, he's a he's a fan favorite. Boxing purists say Joe Fournier. Uh, the rest say KSI, obviously, and uh, it's it's definitely his biggest test to date. So. Hey. JJ has a way of doing the impossible over and over and over again. When he puts his mind to something, he somehow comes out on top. So I never bet against him. I never bet against KSI. And here we go. We might have a decision here. Both trying to get the gloves off. Also remember, stay tuned because coming up soon, we have the Boogie versus Wings fight, which is going to be <laughs> It's going to break the internet. It's insane. going to break the internet. But even before that, you know, we got Twitter superstar Cord uh, versus Unibear, who's been doing all different types of stunts oh leading gosh. up to this oh fight. That's got to be one of my most anticipated fights of the night. If you guys have seen the press conferences, Unibear has been putting it all, throwing water on Korn, dressing up as different characters to try to annoy him. I he mean, this broke is into an that. art gallery. Put his uh, the three rounds of boxing, we go to the judge. Judge Schaefer stops, scores the bout 30 to 27. Ian John Lewis scores the bout 29 to 28. That's more Judge like Gareth Morris scores the night 29 to 28. And your winner by unanimous decision, Poppy Lewis well, it was much closer than I anticipated, yeah. uh, but I think the judges got it 100% right here. Mm -hmm. I think they did. 29-28. Yeah. The 30-27 one was a little harsh. I would, When I first heard that, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but yes. Uh, but as I was finishing, uh, Unibear, right, mm -hmm. he, he he broke into an art gallery, putting his fight poster on there. He got like a $7,500 fine to promote the event. I mean, it's insane what's went into this. That's some next level promotion Team, right did there. you even pay him $7,500? No. <laughs> no. He was talking to me prior to that, talking about how he was going to lose money in this. And then the next thing I see on Twitter is he just lost $7,500. Guys, definitely very excited for this upcoming fight here. 